Museum of Art that juxtaposes the influence of Chinese art imaginary culture from Imperial China uh, to the present day on Western fashion and design. Take a look. With 150 dresses, gowns, costumes and accessories from 40 designers on display, China, through the Looking Glass, which runs from the 7th of May to the 16th of August, is one of the biggest exhibitions undertaken by the museum. I think that the, um, the size of the show is quite sort of proportionate to the concept. It really looks at the, um, the history of the influence of Chinese aesthetics on Western fashion, which dates back to the Roman Empire. Our story starts in the mid-18th century, so a little bit, a little bit later. Um, but I think what, what I think hopefully people will be surprised about is just the, the length of time, the length of, pe the length of, of the period of time that, people, that China was inspired by the West. More than two years in the making, the show encompasses 30,000 square feet of galleries over two floors. It takes visitors on a journey showing how Western designers found inspiration in all things Chinese, from the elaborate embroidered costumes of Imperial China to Shanghai in the 1920s up to the military garb of the Cultural Revolution. I think one of my highlights um, is in the Aster course, the garden. Um, and we've turned it into a moonscape. One room is devoted to opium and the Chinese impact on St. Laurent's 1977 Four Winter Collection with its Mongol-influenced fur jackets and coats. An oriental garden is peopled with mannequins wearing Chinese-inspired elaborate dresses, coats, skirts and gowns by John Giuliano for his 2003 Spring-Summer Collection for the House of Dior. The show also features clips of Chinese films such as The Last Emperor, Raise the Red Lantern and Farewell My Concubine screened in rooms with the western gowns and outfits they inspired. The, the Chinese translation of Through the Looking Glass is Moon in the Water. So we've actually uh, we've got a projection of the moon uh, that's reflected on black plexi, but it looks like water. And, and the collection we focused on is um, John Galliano's 2003 collection for Christian Dior Haute Couture. The exhibition takes its name from Lewis Carroll's 1871 novel Through the Looking Glass and what Alice found there because it is about entering another world. The show features Chinese treasures such as dragon robe won by the last emperor just after he had been crowned and a painting of a Chinese concubine never exhibited before. It doesn't just, just cover the costume, it covers decorative arts like lacquer, porcelain, jade, um, bronzes. So it, the impact has been enormous on, on Western fashion. A maze of galleries showcase a Chinese calligraphy, perfume bottles and blue and white porcelain along with print dresses, fabulous beaded gowns and embroidered jackets by the Western designers influenced by them.